Red Bull bigwig Christian Horner is facing serious accusations of inappropriate behavior towards a female team member, sending shockwaves through the community. The team's launched an internal investigation, and now there's a strong buzz that Horner might throw in the towel with a crucial hearing set for this Friday. Rumors are flying about a power struggle within the team, with Helmut Marko's name surfacing. He supposedly doesn't want Horner's job. What exactly is going on? The head of the Red Bull Formula One team, Christian Horner, is facing an investigation due Due to allegations against him, as confirmed by the company. An independent inquiry led by an external specialist barrister has already begun. Red Bull is taking the matter seriously, and the investigation will be completed as soon as possible. Horner has denied the allegations. The team's launch event for the 2024 season is approaching on February 15th, and if the situation isn't resolved by then, it could overshadow the start of Red Bull's title defense. However, the independent investigator is likely to prioritize a thorough and accurate outcome over a quick resolution. Horner, who has led Red Bull's F1 operation since 2005, is the longest-serving team boss in the paddock and has been crucial to the team's success. The potential impact of the investigation by the parent company is significant. There's a hearing expected on Friday regarding allegations against Red Bull's F1 team principal Christian Horner. The parent company initiated an independent investigation after learning about recent misconduct allegations against Horner, which he denies. An external specialist barrister is overseeing the process, and the hearing is set to begin on February 9th. Despite the investigation, it was reported that Horner will continue in his role as the team principal and CEO of Red Bull Racing. Horner has been a key figure in F1, leading Red Red Bull Racing since its formation in 2005. The situation is potentially disruptive for the team as it comes just before the season begins. Red Bull's car launch is scheduled for next week and pre-season testing starts in two weeks. The fact that Red Bull's parent company is leading the investigation, rather than handling it internally within Red Bull Racing, highlights the seriousness of the situation. While this doesn't predict the outcome, German and Austrian media outlets linked to Red Bull, particularly motorsport advisor Helmut Marco are suggesting that this could mark the end of Christian Horner's leadership. Jonathan Wheatley is even mentioned as a possible successor. There are speculations that this might be a result of a power struggle between the UK side of the team, led by Horner, and the branch of Red Bull headed by Oliver Mintzler, following Dietrich Mateschitz's passing in 2022. Some suggest it could be an opportunity to gain more control over Red Bull Racing and its various businesses, including the new powertrains facility in Milton Keynes, where Horner is also the CEO. However, these claims are currently unfounded. What is evident is that Red Bull is giving more attention to its F1 team, treating it as a significant part of the business with greater accountability. While not as severe, there was a similar scrutiny of Helmut Marko's behavior last year after he made derogatory comments about Red Bull racing driver Sergio Perez, leading to a public apology. Red Bull's original statement mentioned that the investigation would be completed as soon as practically possible. Rushing the process is not desirable, especially considering the sensitive nature of the alleged misconduct by Horner towards an employee. It's crucial to conduct the investigation thoroughly. The timing is challenging for Red Bull, with one F1 team launching its car this week, and Horner's Red Bull racing team set to launch its RB20 next Thursday. A Friday hearing could potentially resolve the matter before the Red Bull racing event, but if not, there might be questions about Horner's presence at the launch. Even though he's said to be continuing his duties, the ongoing investigation could overshadow the proceedings. Red Bull sporting director Jonathan Wheatley is said to be a top candidate to replace Christian Horner as the team principal if the investigation into misconduct allegations results in Horner's departure from Formula One. However, Helmut Marko is not interested in taking on the role if the opportunity arises. According to Dutch news outlet De Telegraaf, team boss Horner is currently under investigation for alleged misconduct, specifically linked to his aggressive management style, as reported by AP. The process is being conducted by an external specialist barrister, and the company is taking the matter very seriously. The investigation will be completed as soon as possible, and further comments are not appropriate at this time. And as I said before, and according to a report from Auto, Motor and Sports, relevant personnel will attend a hearing at the Red Bull factory in Milton Keynes on Friday. The team aims to resolve the situation swiftly before the launch event on February 15th. If Red Bull decides that Christian Horner must step away from his team principal role, Jonathan Wheatley is reportedly the most likely person to take over temporarily. Given that the first race of the season is less than a month away, a quick decision would be necessary. Helmut Marko is not considered
considered as a replacement for Horner, according to Motorsport magazine. The Red Bull director has no interest in taking on a team principal role, and his power struggle with the current boss is unrelated to the ongoing speculation. Though not explicitly mentioned, Red Bull has other external options available for a short-term appointment if needed. Both Mattia Bonotto and Otmar Stafnauer could be suitable alternatives, as they have recent experience in team principal roles in the paddock. Helmut Marko was asked about who plays a more crucial role in Red Bull's success between him and Christian Horner. Marko responded, I don't compare myself with anybody. Then he showed a tattoo of Jos Verstappen's face on his arm and said, I'll let you interpret that however you want. Some see Marko's refusal to answer as a sign that he might be involved in the situation. Normally, when asked about the investigation, he didn't provide any comments, which is common as companies often instruct employees not to discuss ongoing investigations. However, when questioned if he leaked the news, Marco didn't outright deny it. Instead, he said, Horner has done a great job over the years, which doesn't directly address the question. There were reports of a power struggle between Horner and Marco last year after Dietrich's death. Additionally, the journalist who broke the news has close ties with Jos Verstappen, who is connected to Marco. Some argue that Marco's non-answer might be the company line at the moment, while others find it suspicious that he didn't deny being involved. It's a matter of interpretation, and people may be reading too much into his response. In past interviews, Marco mentioned the possibility of deciding when and how he stopped independent of Horner. Many believe that if Horner loses support, even a small issue could lead to his removal. Marco's recent silence on the matter is seen as unusual, and some think it might indicate a serious situation. However, others argue that Red Bull's current management, with processes and an HR department, is different from Marco's era. There's also discussion about past controversial comments made by Marco and Horner, suggesting that this investigation might be due to something serious. However, it's essential to remember that this is speculation, and the investigation will provide more clarity. Some express doubt about the idea that Max Verstappen and his father Jos would be happy with Horner leaving, as their public interactions have generally been positive. The news about Christian Horner's investigation initially surfaced in the Netherlands, hinting at a strained relationship between Horner and Jos Verstappen, Max Verstappen's father. There are attempts behind the scenes to handle the situation quietly, with suggestions for Horner to resign voluntarily. Bernie Eccleston, a former F1 boss and a close friend of Horner, is reportedly trying to advise and calm him. The leak in the Netherlands raises speculation about the damaged personal relationship between Horner and Jos Verstappen. Max Verstappen is considered loyal to his father and Helmut Marko. Red Bull is concerned about potential damage to its brand image if misconduct by Horner is proven. There are doubts about Horner surviving the investigation unscathed, but it's crucial to presume innocence until proven guilty. The FIA, responsible for rule violations, may not investigate if Horner is fired by Red Bull, focusing on sporting and technical violations. If Horner departs, Jonathan Wheatley, the current sports director, could be a potential interim successor. Some in the F1 community are surprised by the situation, questioning why the Verstappens might be against Horner and what they gain by ousting him. The internal dynamics of the team, which appeared stable externally, are now in the spotlight, while Sergio Perez is seemingly navigating through the challenges in the background. What are your thoughts on all this chaos? Do you think Horner will resign? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe!